Billy Myers' feud with Randolph Winters below is what is mentioned in Figu Bulletin 8. HTTP colon slash slash www.billymeyer.com slash periodical slash bulletin underscore 8. HTML Billy, tell me, on February 13, 1996, Florina mentioned to me that your investigations showed Randy Winters is not the only guilty party in matters pertaining to the fraudulent, purported contact story in Miami, Florida, and that there actually exists a man who makes these deceitful contact claims. Furthermore, this A Drain collaborates with Randy Winters who, in turn, cheats him and capitalizes on this liar and fraud by commercially exploiting A Drain's material for profit. Ta, that is correct dash this is precisely what is actually transpiring. Winters is utilizing the falsified material of this A Drain, as he calls himself, in order to enrich himself although he basically knows exactly that the entire matter is nothing but lies and deceit. Winters is a profit-hungry scoundrel, and the same holds true for Adrain who makes every attempt to introduce himself to people with whom he can collaborate and capitalize from his fraudulent story. As for Winters, he now exploits this Adrain in the same manner he has applied to your material, albeit with one big difference, your information and contacts are the truth, of which he is fully aware, while the A-Drain story is a ruthless lie, fraud, deceit, and charlatanry Dash and Randolph Winters is fully conscious of this fact as well and from the extent of our mission on the contrary, it is an urgent necessity that the teachings and the mission are disseminated and established throughout the world. This applies also to America, even though it presents the greatest difficulties and is marked by sectarianism, intrigues and deceitful machinations, which have led the Pleiadians slash Pleiadians to sever their links with that region to a point where the establishment of closer ties has become impossible. Individuals such as, Randy Winters Dash, Roberta Brooks, the contact liar Fred Bell and many other people of the same category contributed to this plight because of the lies they spread regarding the contacts they were supposedly having with the Pleiadians in one way or another. Indeed, some of them even claim they receive messages and other things from the extraterrestrials. All of these claims are simply heinous lies and vicious fraud, for not one Pleiadian slash Pleiadian maintains contacts with human beings on Earth dash except for me dash a fact the Pleiadian slash Pleiadians have repeatedly and extensively emphasized throughout my many contact years with them. Billy. And from, Liars in the Pleiadian Sky May 13, 1996 contact with Tat. On this list I must also include Fred Bell, who alleges to have had contacts with my daughter Sam Jace, and Randy Winters with a drain's fraudulent story about his purported contacts in Florida. Never have we had such contacts with humans on Earth- You are the rare exception and currently no other contactees exist whatsoever. Furthermore, in the future no contacts will be initiated with any terrestrial humans by any of our peoples. If, therefore, anyone on Earth claims he or she is having contacts with one of us, or with the spirit entities of one of our peoples, you can rest assured this is a lie, fraud, or charlatanry. As well, schizophrenic processes, suggestive influences, self-delusions and the like should not be excluded as possible causes for the individual's actions. Unfortunately, the number of liars, deceivers, frauds, charlatans, and delusional individuals who claim they maintain contacts with us, is constantly increasing. Every one of them, and I must strongly emphasize every single one, is simply an individual suffering from derangement, schizophrenia, or delusions dash unless the person is a deliberate liar, deceiver, fraud or charlatan. It is interesting to note that we Pleiadian slash Pleiadians became part of the Earth's public's interest only after you officially began disseminating your mission material, and making public appearances. At that time we were suddenly being exploited by dozens of delusional people, liars, frauds, deceivers, and charlatans who claimed we had or were having contacts with them. The irony of this scenario is that these sick and dishonest people with their delusional, deceitful, and fabricated stories, are being accepted as telling the truth by practically all UFO groups, although their fabrications bore not one iota of truth dash while you, our genuine contactee, continue to be scorned as a liar and cheat, and your evidence is defamed as being fraudulent.
it certainly would be appropriate for you to compile a pamphlet regarding these matters so you can hand it out to everyone who is interested. The sincere investigators, indeed all other human beings, are entitled to hear about the fundamental truth. Real info about Randolph Winters Randolph Winters was never on the staff of FIGU. He was a self-proclaimed FIGU member who ultimately was out to cash in on what he viewed as a marketable product. FIGU's and Meyer's disassociation with him has been known for years. Whether or not Winters cares to admit the truth of what really happened. His material, which I've listened to for years, is full of verifiable errors, therefore why would you trust with certainty anything he has to say? Posted by FIGU in 1994, Randolph Winters' new lies, misrepresentations, errors and intrigues from the USA within certain circles in the United States of America, Randolph Winters is a well-known and popular man because he depicts himself as a direct and authorized Billy Meyer representative, and boasts, particularly at lectures, of his close association and collaboration with Billy and the FIGU, which is a verifiable lie. Without authorization, and in spite of a prohibition by FIGU and the Pleiadians to do so, Randolph Winters has the audacity to give lectures and radio-slash-TV interviews, and at the height of impertinence and disdain he formed the Pleiades Project. Randolph Winters, who may be considered as one of the mission's greatest liars and profiteers in the USA today, has now published a book with the grandiose title The Pleiadian Mission. In it he unleashes information on Billy's contacts, the Pleiadian mission and FIGU and launches wild and shabby proclamations that are not based on any truthful background whatsoever. The same applies to Winter's UFO The Pleiadian Contacts, a 16 audio tape set plus a book of drawings and diagrams, and the videotape The Pleiadian Connection. Billy Meyer and FIGU hereby expressly distance themselves from Winter's deception and are able to state, after an in-depth review, that the book contains numerous untruthful details and many lies as well as misrepresentations, example Randolph's claim that the contacts had been terminated in 1978. It is a lie that the contacts with the Pleiadians have ended on Thursday October 19, 1978, and that Billy was incapable of heading FIGU, as Winters states on page 232 in his book The Pleiadian Mission. The truth is that the contacts are ongoing even now, 1994, and neither the Pleiadians nor Billy are planning to end the contacts in the near future. Concerning the contact reports it must be stated that the 115th contact took place on October 19, 1978, and that Billy has since had 174 additional contacts. Of these 174 contacts, 135 were official and the basis for contact reports, 39 were of an unofficial nature and no contact reports were written on them. At this time, late 1994, 250 official contact reports are in evidence. There exist many very erroneous statements in Randolph Winter's book regarding data, representations of truth on creation, and other specifications and statements of facts and the like. The material Randolph Winters used in his book had been given to him by Billy in confidence for Randolph's own use, respectively his personal progression. In effect, however, the material was later stolen and utilized for commercial and profiteering purposes without ever having received any type of authorization to do so, without asking Billy for his permission, or without compensating Billy in any manner for unlawfully using his material and intellectual information, to mention but a few points. Billy Edward Albert Meyer